The Hopkinton High School Top of the Hill program honored five Hillers alumni with their annual Top of the Hill ceremony in the evening. During the day, the five honorees had an opportunity to talk to some of the classes at Hopkinton High School. Fairfield was legit the one school that I got into that wanted me to play softball at their school, that gave me some money to do that. Um, and it was two and a half hours door to door. So for me, I was getting a little bit away and I knew I wanted a small school. During the day, there was a town-wide power outage, but fortunately, the generators kicked in and allowed the day to continue on. It's hard to know when you get out of school what you want to do, but you work at it and find something you really like and move on and keep going. Señorita Polanski me, me dio esa, este disco cuando uh, yo era un alumno. Creo que yo compré este disco, yo no sé. Uh, <laughs> pero, I graduated um, the, my senior year of high school football. I broke my neck into the third, fourth game in the season. So that meant uh, at that time that I was in the hospital from October until April. But I love kids. And I leverage that and my unique way of thinking. Right? I got to go to Hopkinton High School and then prep school and colleges. We're so privileged here. In the evening, the top of the hill ceremony took place. Dr. Lynch is certified with the American Board of Radiology and is a member of the American College of Radiology. And I remember feeling guilty um, in the days and hours and even months after that injury that I let them down and I wouldn't be available to help them out. Um, so it wasn't so much my feeling sorry for myself as it was um, feeling like I was letting my, my team members down. She has played a big role in the growth of the town through the positions she's held. Starting with a part-time position as a bank teller, she was recruited to work full-time at the town of Hopkinton Water Department in 1981, from, where, from which she retired in 2015. All right, how was it to be back at Hopkinton High School today and have a chance to talk to the students? It was great, and they were so nice and polite and ask good questions and I really enjoyed it yeah and how did it feel to get the call uh, for the that you're getting honored today I was nervous I said why did they call me <laughs> but then I got after I thought about it a while I said oh, that that's an honor so I, I usually don't like to talk about myself too much so <laughs> she's made a significant impact on not only our community but those all across New England We'd like to recognize her for her achievements and exemplification of what it means to be a Hiller. The first started right here in the Hall of the Baking Test. Well, technically they were in the middle school where I graduated from, but you get the idea. Some of my fondest memories were made here in these classrooms and on those athletic fields. I built friendships here that still exist today and now our kids are growing up together. Back then, I even learned math at the old Golden Spoon where there were no computers or credit cards. I had to make change on the spot while customers were staring at me waiting for their money. How do you do that? Try to make change today without a calculator. It's a little difficult. <laughs> it has drastically contributed to the com community in many ways such as working as a paralegal for the U.S. Attorney in Boston to investigate healthcare fraud cases, designing and managing nurse-run medication system treatment programs for opioid and alcohol use disorders, and providing psychiatric care at community health centers in multiple languages. It was great to be back at, at uh, HHS. It's been a, a while since I've been back. And uh, the students were great. It was a great opportunity to uh, speak with them and, and uh, hear their stories and, and share mine and, and hopefully answer some questions and, and they were all just, uh, they are great kids. And how did it feel when you got the call that you were getting an award today for the Top of the Hill program? It was a great, uh, great feeling, great honor. Um, Josh, Hannah had uh, contacted me a couple months ago and so I was surprised to, to see that and, and shocked and, and humbled and honored all at the same time. So it was a, it was a great honor to be here. And I have to ask, because I saw you talking to the uh, Spanish class today, how many different languages do you speak? 
Oh, not barely English. I think this is the accurate answer to that, but uh, I think a few different ones. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. It was a terrific gift to get to reflect with the students and share about uh, just how much has changed in the school, how many even more opportunities are available, and to share a little bit about the work we do serving people with uh, communication disabilities and the kids in Brazil that we're partnering with and their families. So they were real receptive and we had a lot of good laughs, so that part was fun. And then there was a real serious part where I'm here with my daughter Madeline and uh, we just feel so lucky to have all that we have and uh, we want to recognize how much privilege we have and be thankful for um, all we have. It was uh, really highlighted by during the school day the power went out and they started making announcements about lunch and how they're going to bring in food from the elementary schools and you know these are high schoolers who have more than enough food all the time and uh, it was ironic and, and kind of fun that they were going to bring pizzas and order pizzas and such. Um, so overall it was a terrific time. Getting to spend time with Dr. Lynch, uh, one of the inductees, was incredible hearing his story about becoming a medical doctor. And, um, and then uh, Jean Scarletta, who graduated from the original high school or one of the early high schools, was so fun. And, um, Matt Ellum and uh, Missy McDonald. It was really fun to see them again and share in their success. It was terrific. And uh, when you got the call that you're going to be honored today in the Top of the Hill program, how'd that feel? Oh, it was so humbling. It just made me feel thankful that uh, I get to share about what Hopkinton gave to me and that it also made me think and feel sad about my friend uh, Rory Horton, who's a beautiful artist who uh, I met an artist today in the school. Uh, she, she was sitting here, actually in this seat, um, or right around this seat, and uh, she seemed pretty disillusioned like my friend Rory was in high school. But uh, she had a gift with art, we talked about it, and uh, I told her a story about this guy Mike Matas, who Steve Jobs hired, who I don't believe he finished high school, but he had a brilliant gift with design. And so uh, these things come around full circle. And uh, these stories, it's a gift to get to tell my story and how I had to overcome adversity and the resilience of the human spirit. I'm just so thankful to have a soul that grew up in Hopkinton and uh, all the love. I'm looking over, my mother just came over here. So it's fun to uh, celebrate with family and uh, appreciate what we have. Thank you.